Good morning, YouTube. Have you ever heard of fluorescent proteins? They're pretty cool. These bad boys are a type of protein that can light up like a Christmas tree when hit with specific wavelengths of light. They're like tiny little light bulbs that can be used to see what's happening inside living cells. Scientists use fluorescent proteins all the time to help them understand biological processes and even track the movements of different molecules in real time. It's pretty wild. Let's learn more about them in this video. What are fluorescent proteins? Fluorescent proteins are a unique class of proteins that emit light in response to certain stimuli. They have revolutionized the field of molecular biology by allowing researchers to study biological processes in real time, both in living cells and in organisms. First discovered in jellyfish, fluorescent proteins are now widely used in a variety of applications, from research and development to medical imaging and biotechnology. Discovery of GFP the most famous fluorescent protein is green fluorescent protein, GFP, which was first isolated from the jellyfish quarry of Victoria in 1962. GFP emits a bright green light when exposed to blue or ultraviolet light, making it an ideal tool for imaging biological processes in living cells. It has since become an indispensable tool for biologists and has been used to study everything from the behavior of individual molecules to the development of entire organisms. If you are new here, welcome, we are a group of retired professors making bite-sized videos to support micro-learning in the life sciences. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you like the content thus far. Let's continue the topic. Emitting Fluorescence Fluorescent proteins are unique in that they are able to emit light without the need for external energy sources or chemical reactions. Instead, they contain a chromophore, a chemical group that absorbs energy from photons of light and emits light of a longer wavelength. The chromophore is embedded within a beta barrel structure that protects it from the surrounding environment and helps to maintain its stability. A palette of fluorescent colors. In addition to GFP, there are now a wide range of other fluorescent proteins available, each with its own unique properties and spectral characteristics. For example, red fluorescent protein, RFP, emits a red light and is often used in multicolor imaging experiments, while yellow fluorescent protein, YFP, emits a yellow light and is useful for studying protein protein interactions. Applications of Fluorescent Proteins Fluorescent proteins have many practical applications, both in research and in the development of new biotechnologies. They are used to track the movement and interactions of molecules within cells, to visualize the development of tissues and organs in living organisms, and to monitor the progression of diseases. They are also used in the development of biosensors and diagnostic tools, such as biosensors that detect the presence of specific chemicals in the environment or in the body. Limitations Despite their many advantages, fluorescent proteins also have some limitations. They can be sensitive to environmental conditions such as temperature, pH, and ionic strength, which can affect their stability and fluorescence properties. In addition, their large size and complex structures can make them difficult to express and manipulate in living cells. Summary In conclusion, fluorescent proteins have transformed the field of molecular biology and have become a valuable tool for researchers in many different fields. They have enabled us to study biological processes in real time, both in living cells and in organisms and have paved the way for many new biotechnologies and medical applications. While there are limitations to their use, fluorescent proteins continue to be an exciting area of research and development, with the potential to contribute to many new discoveries and innovations in the years to come. Like and subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We hope that you found it informative and enjoyable. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. And if you haven't already, 
We would love for you to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Your support helps us to continue creating videos that you love, and we appreciate it more than you know. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the next one.